more you know who you are and what you want, the less you let things upset you. court I'm obviously talking about the astrology system, Chinese system so just a reminder um, there is 12 sections in the Chinese astrology system the key area to look at when you're looking at these um, a person's chart is the destiny court and the travel court which gives you your characteristics the happiness court is definitely one of those critical courts that I look at to see what makes a person happy. If everyone just focuses on being happy, doing things that they love, and also focusing on doing things that they are good at, it will eventually lead you to a more happy and healthy life, but it will also maximize your life your life on earth I'm running quite late to this um, healing session but um, just a little bit of a background about this um, course that I'm going to the reason why I'm doing this healing session is number one it, it is for me I feel that um, um, I posted a couple of weeks back uh, about uh, negativity and um, I do feel that as I'm going along this journey of self-discovery and moving towards more being positive and, and also speaking about positivity it wouldn't be authentic of me if I didn't feel it a hundred percent so part of this course is to also let is to let go of any negative feelings that I've had in the past and and I feel that until I arrive to that that um, state of mind um, I can't move do the best I can with everything I do whether it be astrology or my day-to-day -day life so I just came back from the healing session and um, I have to say it's really amazing and I'm really really super excited to um, to complete my course um, it's going to take another um, 21 days before I can actually start healing people myself but um, yeah it, it's it's um, how do I uh, describe it um, I, I think that you know for someone like me who is very practical and I like to think I'm grounded um, it's uh, it's a bit hard to explain um, uh, I've always um, felt very spiritual and um, but I think with everyday life um, being uh, bound by um, unseen rules on what you should and shouldn't do um, has limited my growth in being more spiritual and um, I just feel this pull this year to um, really um, get to know more about myself in this area. It's a super busy day, super busy day in Balmoral. It took us, it took us about 20 minutes to find parking but this is a pretty awesome parking spot actually um, it's just next to the water which is awesome look at those cute doggies they're cute doggies So, so far with these readings I've talked about um, your destiny court, which is what makes you you. Um, best way to describe it is your inner self. 
and then uh, I've also talked about the travel court which also beams across to your destiny court which shows you your outer self it also um, with the travel court it dictates the your travel luck so when you go overseas um, if you're the type to encounter problems or e even if you encounter problems whether you are able to um, ascertain the help that you need it also uh, this part the destiny court is what gives you your luck and I think I might have talked about happiness Happiness is um, very important um, to me and I think it's, I, I believe it's one of the more important, most important house. It's the most important palace in this um, chart reading system. I've had read people with very good destiny houses and travel houses which gives them their overall luck. So even if they have that very bad property, career, friendship, wealth type of court, if they have a strong destiny house, um, it generally these people will, will be okay. But if you have a weak happiness court, then you suffer from depression and um, you know if the going gets tough um, and this happiness court is weak which um, dictates your mind um, it can also um, vibrate out and affect all the other aspects of your life. I really do feel that um, you know everyone really needs to find their inner happiness. Um, you've got your superficial happiness which is um, things, your the exterior material world, um, or even relationships. If you base your um, whole happiness in terms of other people, then it, if the relationship doesn't work out, whether it be your parents or whether it be a romantic relationship, it could still vibrate into your internal happiness, your internal world. So it's very important to have a strong mind, a strong will, uh, a strong understanding of your inner self. It's really about being as healthy as you can be in your internal world.